Feeble humans, let us give you our power. Wake up. Ay, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, I'm <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. Oh god, that dude looks really fucked up. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good for nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Oh, fuck. Hey, boy. I'm not done. After you. Now. Oof. Smooth, Mr. Leon. Bap. Overkill. <laughs> it's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No. But apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Alright guys, so what's up? Mike here, bringing you episode 3 of Resident Evil 4. And as you can see, we just dealt with our first quick time event. Well, actually our second, considering the boulder. But yeah, a lot of crazy shit just happened. Basically, we've been injected with some sort of virus. We just ran into our good buddy, Louis Sierra, who was apparently a stranger to us. And there's some creepy guy in a purple robe. But anyway. Over here, stranger. Speaking of guys in purple robes. Who the fuck was that? Who the fuck is you? Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Don't know if you noticed, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back after you've shot ten or more of them. I've got a specialized turn I want you to try out. <laughs> Any guy, anyway, guys. This is going to be your best friend for the entire game. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the merchant of Resident Evil 4.
As you can see, we can buy stuff, we can tune up our weapons, and we can sell stuff. So let's start with that. What are you selling? So yeah, we found a gold chicken egg that's worth 3,000. That Fuck yeah, we're gonna sell that. <laughs> Thank you. We got four spinals that we're gonna sell for 8,000. Fuck yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> that pearl pendant we found that we didn't get dirty in the last... in the farm. That's worth 10,000. Uh, Fuck yeah, we're selling that. <laughs> And we're gonna hold on to the beer steam because there are three recessions on the side and we still need stuff to fill them in with What are you buying? So for now This is important if you see a treasure map buy it immediately is that old? <laughs> Also, you. if you guys can upgrade the case Upgrade is that, that immediately as well. <laughs> Look, now we got a lot more inventory to work with And I wish we were able to use the first aid spray, but we are completely screwed here what are you but we can tune up our weapons. The handgun, I don't really think we need to upgrade though. So let's just upgrade our shotgun. And you'll find out why I'm not upgrading the handgun in a future episode. Is that all? <laughs> can upgrade the capacity. <laughs> faster reload speed. <laughs> and we're going to leave ourselves with that. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find any sort of health. Let's see, we got red herbs. That's okay, I guess, except not really. We're in a tight spot here, guys. I can see there's a chest up ahead, and I can see we're going to be dealing with some other crazy stuff. Unless somehow we find a first aid spray or a green herb or something. Fuck it, I'm going to use it because I think we need to at this point. But yeah, I guess let's just keep going, but oh, oh never mind. Yeah, it looks like we're dealing with a lot of crazy shit, so... Fuck it, I'm gonna be smart about my tactics here. Explode onto his head. And that is why I am hiding behind this like a wuss. Let them come to me. I'm not doing good on health, so this is honestly a good tactic. He got me! He actually fucking got me. I'm pissed now. Open the door. Get your ass shot. I'm gonna kill you so hard your children are gonna feel it. No, I'm not done with you yet. I did not need that to happen. Sucker. Wow. You know what? I'm annoyed right now that that really happened to me, guys. I, I am really annoyed. Fuck it. I saw you. I see you, stranger. That's it. I'm not playing around now. That that really made me upset. Go to select. What are you selling? Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? <laughs> Thank you. No, like, really? 
I don't even know where the fuck that axe came from. I I am tight right now. I am toiter than toit. Uh, don't ask me why I said it like that, but I am toiter than toit. Uh, I, I am stupefied at how the fuck that managed to hit me. I, I'm done now. I'm gonna go ramble on these motherfuckers now. That's it. Eight shotgun bullets, that's enough. Let, let's fucking go. Hold on. Make sure that's it here. That's it. I'm gonna stupidly charge in the battle now because I am pissed. I got full health. Actually, you know what? I am gonna kind of freaking still be smart about it. But you know, fuck it. No handgun bullet treatment for these people. I am gonna freaking go off now. I'm gonna back up to here too because fuck it, that's ridiculous. Well, honestly, I only have seven shotgun bullets. You know, I'm gonna try that again, but. That'll do it. Oh, that's how you fucking got me, you bastard. Oh, you really gotta be kidding me. Bitch. I think now we should be able to safely escape here, though, but... Do oh, we have any more people to worry about? No, we should be alright. going up this hill because they seem to be protecting something fuck it if I use up a few herbs along the way fuck it green herbs are more common than the yellow and uh, red ones so honestly I'm gonna just be smart about this I thought I had a grenade, but I guess not. No, now these guys are being a little too close now. Come on, eat, eat lead, mother buzzer. Fuck y'all shit. You get the knife treatment. I am really tight that I got killed by that fucking axe though. That's still kind of bothering me in my head a little bit. I think we can go back to the handgun. Shoot him in the game. Blap, blap, blap. Kill him until he fat, fat, faps. I'm on now, yeah, me and my blood, fuck you, Gonna break and kill you, cause you won't. Fuck, get all slice, slice, slice. Really now? That's right, that's why you lose your fucking head after that one bullet. Really? That's the second time that's fucking happened. That's it. That is the second time. Come on, you wanna smile about it? There, smile without a head now, bitch. If there was a piss button, I would piss on his dead corpse. Jeez. 
Alright, so anyway, as you can guess, we have to go find the other half of an emblem. Sorry there's not much commentary here, guys. This is really getting intense. I don't even care, freaking... People are still trying to chuck stuff at me, jeez. I know I probably should not have done that. I'm instantly regretting that. Yeah, I am really not being smart with my decisions right now. Really, you're gonna try to chuck shit at me too now, guy? That's why you guys got yourselves blown up. I'm gonna just be smart about this and just make my way out of here. Unless I somehow think I can take him. See how many people might- Oh, shit! I'm not getting killed again in this section. I am not doing this again. I think we are good here. I mean, I doubt you'll have anything interesting for me. Yeah, never mind. You should go to something up there that I might want. Like I said, you had something interesting that I wanted. I think I'm going to just cut my losses here and head out before I do anything else stupid to get myself nearly killed a second time. So yeah, hold on. I am going to... Let's go to our treasures and... This is basically where the game tells us that we can combine stuff together like this. We got that and we can now get ourselves the fuck out of this place. So yeah, what I just did back there, don't don't repeat what I just did. Honestly, that was a lot more complicated than I needed to make it. That was way more complicated than I needed to be on that. Anyway, if we look at our map now, we can see we have little stars on the map. That is basically going to be our indication that there is treasure. And we are going to find our first real treasure according to the map inside here. But we already found our real treasure in the farm. But God only knows what we're going to have to do to go get to it. Because it is right there. That mask is our treasure, guys. But let's just see what the hell we're going to have to deal with in here. Wait, how the hell is a dead body able to do that shit? That was broken. No mercy.
Alright, hold on. Before I go any further, I'm gonna refill my shotgun. And I am immediately gonna be fucked over now. There we go, that, that, that fucking did it. Alright, shit's getting a little bit too crazy again in this episode. Why am I going backwards? I gotta go over here. Seriously with that? That's why you just got shot. That's why you just got your head blown off. Guy. Give me that money. I'll be claiming my prize now. Thank you very much. Give me that elegant mask. I wouldn't recommend selling this right away either. Because the elegant mask is definitely going to come in handy. I almost missed something in that barrel over here. Nice, more handgun ammo. Always a plus. Alright, we're going to head down here and keep going forward. Or are we? Well, besides this guy being a joke. Well, we, we could head up and keep going through, but I honestly want to take a detour down here. There are a lot of fish down here. There's a handgun ammo, there's a flash grenade, and a bunch of gold. Honestly, we can use the flash grenade to our advantage down here. Or not, I thought that was going to do more than that, but... Never mind, I guess we're going to be using our handgun bullets to do this, so... I recommend killing all the fish that you possibly can. Even if you're wasting a little bit of bullets doing this. Because yeah, we can actually collect these fish and put them in our case. And since we just upgraded our case in a medium case... We can basically now fit almost every single one of these fish into the uh, thing. And I did not mean to climb out. There was still one more fish down there. I know I just saw one more fish down here. I'm not stupid. Yeah, there he is. There it is. And with that, we can officially move on to the next part of our game. Let's go head up here. Well, like I said, killing crows also gives you a little bit of extra gold. So, killing the crows is definitely a good idea if you can. If you have enough spare ammo, at least. And I knew, I almost walked past this. Actually, I've walked past this the last few times I've done this playthrough. I'm actually glad I'm doing this over. But like we did with the pendant. Dude, we got ourselves a brass pocket watch. I can't believe I forgot about that. But yeah. That is something that I can't believe I almost forgot in the last few playthroughs I've done. 
Because I'm about to re-record this due to sound issues. But there you go. Silver lining, I guess. But yeah, without further ado, let's just keep moving forward. That's why I pays to check the map, by the way. Because now once it says you have the treasure, you basically are good. Let's see if there's anything else worth the value before we keep moving forward. I don't see so, but... Here's our first puzzle of the game, guys. It's a large crystal ball. It looks like it rotates. Now, as you can see, there are... There's a certain emblem on the left and right side of this thing. So, let's just figure out how we're going to do this. I believe if you flip it up, it'll look like this. And then, flipping it left will make it look like the actual emblem. So, that is the emblem of this weird freaking cult. Let's see if we got ourselves the key. Very nice. Oh, nice. More handgun ammo. And we got ourselves a note. I'm going to let you guys read this one. I need to catch my breath a second from all the craziness. So, it looks like we were dealing with some crazy cult people. We got some more gold, though. That's pretty good. We got ourselves the insignia key, so I guess let's head out. Well, that was intense. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Resident Evil 4. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe if you're new here. Share this video with whoever you possibly can. You can also find my Facebook and Twitter in the link in the description. But until the next episode, guys, take care. Thank you guys for checking out my video today. If you guys like what you see here, definitely smash that subscribe button to see more content from my channel in the future. Also, please don't forget to check out my friends over at Video Game Tidbits. They write amazing articles on their website. All links to my media pages, including my Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch are all in the links in the description below. But until the next video, guys, take care.